Hi, I'm Rick Dior, and today we're going to continue my series dealing with my book, Let's Go Camping. And these are variations on the three camps. So, so far, we've done the original three camps and doubles, and then we've done uh, flams, we've done drags, and we also did all the paradiddle stickings. So today we'll do singles. Uh, there's a number of these in the book, and they're pretty difficult. So single strokes uh, plague all of us because it's pretty much the hardest thing to do fast and even and controlled. When I do single strokes, I'm basically thinking about a bounced stroke. So I'm not doing all wrists like this. I'm doing bounced strokes. So the stick is bouncing up and then I'm pushing it down with my fingers and a little bit of wrist. So you can see that crushed kind of stroke where I'm squeezing the stick. Now the sticks I'm using today are these um, Yellow Heart uh, concert sticks that I make. I just got um, some of this Yellow Heart in. I haven't had it in several years. It's great for making these uh, concert sticks. They're about 70 grams and that's a good weight for practicing singles. You don't want to use anything too heavy. So the first one in the book that deals with singles is the hardest one and that's going to be on page 18 and that's just straight single strokes. So we'll do this at a tempo of quarter note equals 95. One, two, three, four. So as I said, that one is pretty exhausting, uh, especially your left hand will get a little bit tired. But you see how fast I can play it when I'm not using a tight wrist. Next up are the uh, single strokes four and sevens. Those are on page 19. So we'll do these at quarter note equals 140. And there's several stickings here. We'll just do the first sticking for you today. One, two, three, four. That's a real good one for playing those short triplets, which also happens to be the sticking of a four-stroke rough, and we'll get to that in a little while. If we flip the page, we have single strokes in uh, groups of five. So in other words, we're going to be playing five notes in the space of one quarter note. And we'll do that at quarter note equals 128. One, two, three, four.
Okay. Next we have page 21. These are mixed singles, so different combinations of rhythms here. And we'll do this one at quarter note equals 130, so just a little bit quicker. One, two, three, four. There's a tricky little uh, turnaround at the end of the second camp you see there. We have to do a double left to get yourself back on your left hand. That is not a typo. That's the way it should be played. Next we go to uh, triple strokes, which is uh, the next page. So uh, these are singles. They could be considered singles, but these will totally bounce. So you're just doing this. So not a lot of fingers there. It's mostly using height and then uh, more height for the accents, but you're just bouncing the stick. And when you go faster, you see my bottom fingers there in the traditional grip coming up and pushing the stick. So we won't do that quite that fast. Uh, we'll do it at quarter note equals 180. One, two, one, two, three, four. The next one and the last one we'll do today will be on page 33. And this one is very, very important if you play drum set or if you play orchestral percussion. So this is the four stroke rough and a rough is any more than three notes. So a drag is three notes when you have right, right, left or left, left, right. A rough can be four strokes, five strokes, seven strokes. You can have a lot of notes. And they're normally uh, single strokes. Not always, but normally. So for today, we will do them single stroke. In the book, you see here I have four different stickings. I would definitely suggest learning these four stickings because some of them, especially the bottom two, are used for orchestral snare drumming, which is like a right, left, left, right. All right, but first you want to learn them singled. And when you do these roughs, they need to be really crushed. They should not sound like triplets. So we'll do this one at uh, quarter note equals 98. This is a two-pager, so I'll have to use my other copy here. One, two, three, four.
that's pretty rough pun intended so you see how fast I'm playing those and they're very low when I play those and the other notes are higher and it's all wrist and fingers so I'm moving my wrist it's almost like a little bit of a, of a scoop and then my fingers and my thumb is pushing down as you see there now when you play these match grip it should look like this so you see that space there I'm not using all wrist like this you definitely don't want to do that okay you want to have some space there and be able to use your fingers otherwise they'll sound like triplets so So I hope you enjoyed this uh, video here and the next one and the last one we'll do will deal with cheese rudiments which are basically a flam and a drag. So we'll see you soon.